Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy. And today's video is inspired by a buddy of mine who asked me where I get ideas to invest. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three sectors that I think will have a lot of hype and they will also have a lot of promise going into the next four years. The first thing that dictates what's going to happen is government. So depending on what your government is and what they believe in, those are the ideas, those are the companies, and those are the philosophies that are going to succeed in the future. If you are pro-Trump, you're pro-oil, military, you were investing into things that Donald Trump believed in because those are the things that are going to succeed in those four years. Now that Trump is gone, you have Biden in office. And whether you hate Biden or you love Biden, it doesn't really matter. You have to look at the guy's policies, what he wants to do, and then ask, is he able to execute? If the Senate was Republican, it would have been harder for Joe Biden to accomplish what he wanted to do because of the Green New Deal that he wants to implement. Now that the Senate is split, the VP and the president have the ability to break ties on big decisions that pass bills and laws. And so that brings me back to the Green New Deal. At one point in time, I thought the Green New Deal was just going to be a lot of propaganda. But now, sitting here today, I do believe that there are good investment opportunities to get into based on Biden's policies. So to know what Joe Biden's policies are, I went directly to JoeBiden.com and the first thing you will see the Biden plan for a clean energy revolution and environmental justice. So the biggest thing here is this word revolution. Joe Biden wants to do something that has never been done and he wants to do it on a very large scale. If you scroll down a little bit more, you will see the Biden plan will make a historic investment in our clean energy future and environmental justice paid for by rolling back the Trump tax incentives that enrich corporations at the expense of American jobs and the environment. Joe Biden wants to put over a trillion dollars into this initiative and we have to take that seriously because he is the president and he does have the power now to make things happen. So the first thing that I think about is renewable energy. Anything renewable energy is going to have a shot in these next four years, whether it has to do with electric vehicles, whether it has to do with non-combustible sources of energy, like hydrogen-powered energy, uh, solar energy, wind energy, um, water turbines, anything non-renewable is going to be the forefront of a lot of conversations and a lot of hype for investors. So that is the first place I would look if I'm an investor trying to find opportunity. Look in the renewable energy space because the next four years look very promising. In this video specifically, I will not be giving stock picks. Instead, I'm going to show you guys an ETF that I have been following since elections and it is called the iShares Trust Global Clean Energy ETF. As you can see, this ETF bottomed like every other stock did in March. And since then, it has been roaring up and it has not slowed down. So this is an ETF and it has delivered a tremendous amount of gains. And to get this out of an ETF is unheard of. And do I think that it can sustain this type of push up? I think it can. I think that this is just the beginning of this green energy revolution. So right here, I'm on a page that has a clean energy ETF list. So as you can see, ICLN was the one that I mentioned. It's the number one ETF that they have, but there's also a whole bunch of other ones that I do believe will have a lot more interest these upcoming years, as this is going to be a whole boom for an industry that we've never seen. There are going to be a lot more jobs in this clean energy space, so there's going to be a lot more money flooding into this industry. We know that Biden wants to put over $1.7 trillion into this industry, so that is nothing to sneeze at. That is a lot of money going into a new industry, and a new industry means new opportunity for investors that want to make money. So if the first thing you're looking at is renewable energy spaces, the second thing you should be looking at is infrastructure. Look for companies that are going to help build infrastructure to help sustain renewable energy. You can't just make a wind turbine or you can't just make solar panels and they just happen to work. Your society, your products have to be compatible with that type of technology to work. So this investment is going to take a lot of infrastructure to now hold and sustain this type of technology. So as an investor, that is another place I would be looking. 
The third industry that I believe is gonna have a very promising future is the cannabis industry. So over the past five, six years, the cannabis industry has been a topic of conversation for a lot of governments. There have been a lot of people advocating the legalization. And now I think with Joe Biden and Camilla Harris in office, they are pro cannabis and they might even federally legalize cannabis. We as investors like to capitalize on hype. So if that is a topic of conversation, you should be looking into the cannabis industry to see where you can get opportunities. So if we're looking at the cannabis industry, there is an ETF that I have my eyes on. It is called HMMJ, Horizons Marijuana Life Sciences Index. And so if we look at the chart here on the daily, you can see when we were in the stages of legalization, we were up in the 24 to the 14 range. We were kind of going back and forth and then we started to crash and crash and crash. And now we are here today starting to make a comeback. We're at about $9.37 Canadian. So just a quick glance, we had a line of resistance here in the mid eights. We did break over it and now we are sitting at a healthy level above it. So this could be an index that has potential to climb for the next four years. With indexes, it's not short money, it's not quick money. It is something that you have to just sit on, set it and forget it type mentality. So in conclusion, the three industries that I talked about today were the renewable energy space, the infrastructure space and the cannabis industry. I think those three sectors are going to have a lot of hype and a lot of potential with Joe Biden in office for the next four years. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. We are on that road to a thousand subs. It would mean a lot if you guys subscribed. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and I will see you guys in the next one.